viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is plasma phrases. Uh, but before uh, starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information, you can visit my website. The link for the website is just below this video in the description area. Uh, now come to the topic, what is plasma phrases? Well, it's a process in which uh, the liquid part of the blood, uh, which is known as plasma, is separated from the blood cells. And the plasma is replaced with an other solution, such as saline or maybe albumin, or the plasma is treated and then returned to your body. So this is known as plasma phrases. Now, if you are sick, uh, your plasma can contain antibodies uh, that attack the immune system. And a machine can be used to remove the affected plasma and replace it with the good plasma or the plasma substitute. And this is known as plasma exchange. And the process is similar to the like uh, kidney dialysis, you know. Now, the plasma phrases can also refer to the plasma donation process where the plasma is removed and the blood cells are returned to your body. So that's what the plasma phrases is. The next thing is what is the purpose? Why do uh, doctors advise this? Well, the plasma phrases can be used to treat a variety of autoimmune disorders including uh, uh, Myasthenia gravis, uh, Guillain Bear syndrome, a chronic inflammatory uh, demyelinating uh, polynephropathy, or uh, Lambert Eton uh, myasthenic syndrome. So, in these uh, diseases, uh, it's advised to, uh, to exchange the plasma. Uh, it can also be used to treat certain complications like sickle cell disease as well as. Uh, the certain forms of neuropathy. So in each of these of disorders, uh, the body has developed the proteins called the antibodies that are uh, programmed to identify the cells and destroy them. So these uh, antibodies are in plasma and normally these antibodies are directed at uh, like uh, foreign bodies or the foreign cells that may harm the body such as viruses in the people with the autoimmune diseases, the antibodies will respond to the cells inside the body that carry out important functions and they are healthy cells. And the example is like uh, in multiple sclerosis, the body, the body's antibodies and the immune cells atta will attack a like a protective covering of the nerves and that eventually leads to impaired function of muscles. So the plasma phrases can stop this process by removing the plasma that contain the antibodies and replacing it with the new plasma. Now, in recent years, the therapy is increasingly been used to treat the people who are critically ill with infections and other problems such as uh, Wilson's disease and thrombotic uh, thrombocytopenic purpura. So it has also been used to help the people who have received an organ transplant to uh, counter the effect of the body's natural rejection process. Now the next is how the process takes place. You know, during the plasma phases donation, you will rest on a cot and then the needle or the catheter will be placed into a vein in the crux of uh, whichever arm has the most like uh, robust artery, you know. And in some cases, the catheter is placed in the groin or maybe in the shoulder. So the replacement or the return plasma follows uh, into your body through a second tube that is placed in the arm or maybe in the foot. Now, a person can donate plasma up to two, uh, up to twice a week. And the donation uh, sessions usually takes place about 90 minutes. Now, if you are receiving the plasma phases as the treatment, the procedure can last between one and three hours. And you may need uh, as many as five treatments per week. So the treatment frequent, uh, frequency can vary widely from condition to condition and also depend on your overall health, you know. So it depends on uh, change from person to person and disease to disease.
and sometimes the hospitalization is required and sometimes the patients uh, get this procedure uh, get it done just as an outdoor patient so you can optimize the success and minimize the symptoms and the risks of this procedure by taking few steps like uh, make sure you have uh, like uh, a nutritious meal before the treatment or the donation uh, have a good night's sleep at the night before the procedure drink plenty of fluids uh, get up to date uh, vaccinations for the common infections uh, avoid smoking and tobacco and eat diet high in protein and low in phosphorus sodium and potassium in the days leading uh, 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 up to the plasma phrases and the next thing is about the benefits you know well if you are receiving plasma phrases and uh, as a treat part of the treatment uh, for the weakness or an autoimmune disorder in that case you may begin to feel relief in as little as few days and for other conditions it may take few weeks before you notice any changes in your symptoms and uh, plasma phrases will only provide short term relief and often the process will need to be repeated and the frequency and the length of the results are highly dependent on your condition and its severity and your general health and your doctor or nurses can give you a general idea of how long uh, plasma phrases will be effective for and uh, frequency or frequently you need to use it how frequent you need to use it so your doctor will advise about it uh, plasma phrases does not carry any any risk or side effects and but they are rare and generally they are mild if there are and the most common symptoms uh, is a drop of blood pressure and which is often accompanied by faintness uh, bravian dizziness a uh, feeling cold and the stomach cramps and it can also carry uh, the risks like infection uh, blood clotting and allergic reactions but they are rare and the most serious uh, but uncommon risk include bleeding which result from anti clotting medications and other more serious uh, 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 factors include like seizures abdominal cramps and tingling in the limbs and uh, in certain cases it may not be appropriate uh, like uh, uh, the people who are uh, hemodynamically unstable the people who cannot tolerate the cent like central line placement you know iv line and the people with allergies to the heparin and the people with the hypocalcemia and the people with allergies to frozen albumin or the plasma so it's not suitable for those people